Picking up where they left off with the threes. Box. <laughs> This is the Ama Manier Jordan 1. Same as on the threes, we got this really clean Ama Manier box sleeve. Gives the box a cool little depth to it. Their logo all over there. I did cop these straight from the Ama Manier website. Just like the Pata Drop, the checkout was super smooth. Their bot protection was A1. Pretty simple Jordan 1 box. Underneath here, we got the color scheme. That's sail and burgundy. These are like the metallic purples, but super premium on the inside of the lid, where it all began. The famous Jumpman photo, rocking the black toes. Let's get this out of the way. Onto the shoes. Are you ready? Boom. Ooh. Okay, okay. That is clean. Now people say this for a lot of shoes, but the pictures of these really didn't do them justice, especially the burgundy leather pieces. It's a super rich color and it looks so hot right now. <laughs> Starting with the upper. This is a Jordan 1 with a crackly sail colored leather. It gives the shoe a nice vintage feel, kind of calling back to those super old beat up pairs. Yeah, I really like what they did with these. The crackly material kind of gives the silhouette a different shape too. Overall, it kind of slims down the shoe. The toe box is looking a bit more sleek as well. A little bit more low profile, no chance of a butt chin. This was a really interesting leather choice. Looking like the salt flats or dandruff. The head and shoulder ones. Ba 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 head and shoulders. Then towards the back, up at the collar and on the swoosh there, they use this snakeskin pattern burgundy leather. This was the part in all the pictures, it looks kind of muted, but in person, it's super vibrant. The quality on these is ridiculous. I mean, it is a ma manier, and they are known for their quality and the meaning behind their products. They are living up to their name. What do we, what do we, what do we, what do we? All right, let's take a moment for this Wings logo done in a super high gloss burgundy, Air Jordan on that crackly sail leather. What juxtaposition? A cute- Yup, my jeans are tight. That looks insane in the light. Ooh. Moving on to my favorite part about the shoes, the detached wings from the upper. Gives you a little bit more versatility when you wear these, and it just looks dope. We got a little secret message on the inside of the wings. It says, your mom's a cow. Ooh. You have to expect things from yourself before you can do them. Michael B. Jordan. That, pff, true. <laughs> that leather is so soft. You can really see that crackly leather on the tongue here. The cracks are super fine. It feels like the leather feels soft, but also hard at the same time. It's really, so it's a weird feeling. Moving to the laces. These come with matching burgundy laces. The laces are pretty thick and they have a slightly waxy finish to them. On the ends, we have metal aglets with a really nice shiny polished finish. A ma manier. Those look so good. Gives the laces a nice weight to them. Also, lacing these up was kind of satisfying. They also come with these other cream colored laces. Same deal, pretty thick, slightly waxy, and the metal aglets. Oh, I'm cooming. Hocus, pocus. Yes. Oh wait, actually, let's look at the inside first before we hold up. I'll have what I'm having, that super rich burgundy color, almost has a shine to it. It's like you're stepping into royalty. On the bottom insole, we got a little stitched in patch there. Airness by Ama Manier for Air Jordan. Yeah, the inside of these is crazy. We got a quilted sock liner, looking kind of like a Bentley. <laughs> hey, the sail doesn't look bad at all. Matches the midsole. It also tones down the shoe a little bit. I still do think the burgundy is the way to go with these though. Demontis Sabonis with a steal. Let's go. Here's the hang tag, a nice little square cut of that burgundy leather. It feels a little bit softer on the shoe. Ooh, so shiny. All right, moving up to the tongue. Nice Nike Air tag with Ama Manier under there. I usually don't like leather tongues, more of a nylon tongue kind of guy, but this one I'm gonna have to make an exception for. It's super clean and it has a nice seamless edge. They kind of tuck the stitching behind there. At the back of the shoe, not much going on here. We got a nice hourglass shape. With the grade school sizes, they did put the Ama Manier written out on the on the heel. Looked a little out of place. I'm glad they kept these with a clean look. 
We got an off-white creamy midsole. Pretty much every shoe being released now is going with that cream color. I mean, I do love cream. Wait, no. In certain lighting, the midsole does have a bit of a pinkish hue, but in the natural lighting, it's definitely cream. Cream machine, cream machine. Show me the cream, give me the cream. We got that same burgundy color on the outsole. If you do care about the bottoms, dirt won't really show up there. So, is this the shoe of the year? I don't know. What do you guys think? They definitely have a chance. All right, let me give you a quick look side by side with the threes here. These shoes are kind of like art. A ma manier. They don't miss. As you can see, they kept that vintage theme going, along with that quilted liner. This is a tough one. Personally, I think threes still take it for me. In your butt. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, big boy. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to physically assault that like button, comment Jesus Christ in all caps in the comments down below.